Today we are going to review how to download and run the free program Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, which works with your existing antivirus software to locate and remove viruses and malware. The free version of Malwarebytes works independently of other antivirus programs and only runs when you manually start it up and scan your computer. Even if you have another antivirus program, it is a good idea to run Malwarebytes occasionally if you suspect that your computer is not quite right. It's like getting a second opinion on your existing antivirus program, and more often than not, I find that Malwarebytes will find malicious or unwanted items that other antivirus programs don't. By the way, if you don't use an antivirus program, I suggest you get one. There are plenty of free programs available, such as Microsoft Security Essentials, AVG, Avast, and Avira, to name a few. Note that Microsoft Security Essentials will not work with Windows 8, but that is because it has Windows Defender built in, which takes care of the antivirus software duties. To download Malwarebytes, you could go to the company website, and click Free Version Download, then follow the prompts to install the software, but I prefer to use a website called Ninite.com. Ninite allows you to download multiple programs at one time, and it doesn't show any of those pop-ups that ask if you want to install other software such as toolbars or other junk that just bogs down your computer. As an example, I recently updated Adobe Flash Player, and as you can see, they try to sneak in the Google Toolbar, which has absolutely nothing to do with the update. Ninite automatically says no to these extras. So at the Ninite website, we're going to click the box next to Malwarebytes, then click Get Installer. Depending on your browser, you should see some sort of notification that the Ninite Essentials installer.exe file wants to run. In Internet Explorer, click Run. In Google Chrome, if a Save As box appears, click Save. Otherwise, click the box that appears on the bottom left. Then click Run. In Firefox, unless you have an extension installed, you'll need to click Save File. Then click Save. Then click on the down arrow in the upper right. Click the installer file that appears, then click Run. In Safari, click Run two times. In Opera, click Run. Or in some versions, you'll double click the installer file that appears in the upper right, then click Run. We'll continue the installation from Google Chrome. After clicking Run, if the User Account Control appears asking if you want to allow changes, click Yes. Otherwise, a window will appear showing that Malwarebytes is being downloaded, then installed. When the window says Finished, click Close. Close the browser window, then double click the Malwarebytes anti malware icon on your desktop. Alternatively, you can click Start, move your mouse over All Programs, scroll down and click the Malwarebytes Anti-Malware folder, then click Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Once again, if the user account control appears asking if you want to allow changes, click Yes. Malwarebytes will now start, check for updates, then update the database to provide the most up-to-date protection against malware and viruses. Once the database is finished updating, the version number will appear with a green check mark to the left. In subsequent uses, you're likely to see the following message that your databases are out of date. To resolve this, click the green Fix Now button. At any rate, each time Malwarebytes is used, it's a good idea to click Update Now before running a scan, even if your database appears to be up to date. Looking at what is called the dashboard, we can see a red X on the license row because we don't have one. 
That's okay because we're only using the free version that doesn't require a license. The real-time protection row also shows an X because that feature is only available with the paid version. If you'd like to start a free trial with all the bells and whistles, you can click here, but that is another topic. Before we begin a system scan, let's take a look at the settings. As we go down the list, all of the settings are fine except for one. Under Detection and Protection, make sure the box next to Scan for Rootkits is checked. This may add a little time to the scan, but rootkits are especially dangerous types of malware, so if we have the option to find them, why not do it? Clicking Scan, we can see that there are two options to choose from. The hyperscan is not available with the free version of Malwarebytes. We won't cover the custom scan here, except to say that it allows you to choose the locations to scan and the types of malware and viruses to look for. The threat scan is what we are most interested in, and if you click the green Scan Now button here, or on the dashboard, a full system scan will begin. If updates are available, the scan will not begin until you click either Skip Update or Update Now. The scan can be paused or canceled at any time by clicking the buttons in the upper right. You can view the scan progress on the left. As each item completes, a green check mark will appear. The first few items go fairly quickly, but the last two can take quite a while depending on the speed of your computer and the number of files on it. Any detected items will appear here. Hopefully, when the scan is complete, no malware or viruses are found, but if there are, a screen will appear after the scan is complete asking what you would like to do with the items found. You have three options, Quarantine, Add Exclusion, and Ignore Once. Generally, you will want to choose Quarantine unless you're absolutely sure that the item found is safe. So click Quarantine, then Apply Actions. The screen will now show that the item is removed. Next, a message will appear stating that the computer needs to restart in order to complete the removal process. Go ahead and click Yes. When the computer finishes rebooting, open Malwarebytes again. Even though an item has been moved to quarantine, it is not a good idea to let items sit there. To get rid of an item permanently, select the corresponding checkbox, then click the Delete button. Alternatively, you can click Delete All to quickly remove all of the quarantined items. In this video, we reviewed how to download Malwarebytes, covered a few of the features in the free version, and how to run a full system scan, or threat scan as it's called by Malwarebytes. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel, and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.